Uh, and the, uh, the romanticized view of the operation and the admission is that uh, one comes in with a problem, has an operation, the operation fixes the problem, and one goes home uh, better off than one came in. And that may be true for your car much of the time when you take it to the dealer, not always. But it's certainly not true for the major spine operation. You come in with a fixed set of problems in the complex patient. Uh, we generally aggravate a lot of the problems with the operation and with the post-operative care. And then we send people home with at least all of the original problems and then some new problems and some new things to take care of. Um, and from our selfish point of view, the patient's now in somebody else's hands, they're home. Uh, I think it's easy for us in our na naivete to assume that uh, parents can take on all of these new tasks or uh, that we now have them, you know, dressing changes or position changes or uh, special seating or new medications and now pain medicines also. So I, I think it's, it's just worth warning families that the aftercare is not a mirror of the pre-care. It's often double or triple the pre-care. Uh, and they need to organize their, uh, or need, need help organizing their life so that they can spend the months or whatever it takes uh, in this period of aftercare when requirements are greatly increased compared to uh, pre-care. I think that comes as a surprise to families who've never had a big operation, um, not to families who've had other operations, but I, th I think that's worth, worth talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just knowing that, that, you know, there's the hospital inpatient recovery time, but for spinal surgery, I think that majority of people find it takes like months for um, their child to go back to baseline. And that's if they, you know, go back, get back to baseline. For some, it's more, they may be more comfortable, but they may not still be able to go out as long as they used to in their chair or if they use a wheelchair. Um, and you have to think about the resources you have available to you. Um, you know, if you're a family that went into the hospital with nursing, you hope you still have your nursing when you, when you exit. Um, that was a big thing for us, you know, informing the team, like part of our sense of urgency of getting home is so we don't lose the care providers we already have in place because that's really hard to, to put back into place when you're getting discharged. Um, if you are a family that started out without any nursing and now find them find themselves in a situation where their child needs nursing, that's an entire process in and of itself to put into place. And sometimes, unfortunately, we find it's extending hospitalization stays because they don't have the nursing to be able to go home safely. Um, so there's durable medical equipment that you might need, <laughs> which is a whole beast in and of itself. Um, to make sure you have things approved ahead of time, timely with getting home. So yeah, it does really, ch and I think a sense that it really will change your family routine and dynamics. Um, you know, we went out a lot last. Um, Will's school set schedule, when he did go back, was only a portion part of the day. Um, so for families that, that, that might be more challenging for pickup, drop off, care, whatever is involved, it's very involved. Regarding discharge after the surgery and going home, doesn't mean that you're completely out of the woods yet for being completely healthy. And, um, and your trajectory of recovery is, 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 all, is all fine. I mean, we, we think nationally that um, some children have a risk of actually needing to come back to the hospital uh, for health issues that develop after discharge within the first 15, 30 days. Um, and those rates can be as high as 10, 15% of kids, um, mostly based on all the children's comorbid conditions, right? So it's going home and having a seizure exacerbation or something else that they aspirate or you know other issues that sort of bring them back in. But you know the stress of the surgery itself, e even just the transition home itself can be a physiologic event, <laughs> right? I mean, you're transitioning from all the way the hospital was doing their thing to back at home, which is most of the time not gonna be completely congruent, you know? And it, it, again, it's a transition, it's a tenuous period of time. Um, and then you're going back to all your outpatient providers who are now like, 
back in the mix of things to help if you have any kind of urgent healthcare problems. So, I mean, for most kids, I think, I think it goes pretty well, but the, it's, it's not a 0% chance that things might develop after you go home that, that still require, require care. I mean, hospital dis the crudeness of hospital discharge of the, the level of health that you need to achieve is nowhere near where you need to be to fully recover from the operation. You know, I mean, I think in the, in the Joe Meathead hospitalist mind, like me, you know, you're tolerating some feeds, your pain is semi-well controlled, you're stable from a respiratory and cardiovascular standpoint, and you, well, I think you've met discharge criteria. But that state of health versus I'm ready to enter my life in a better place and to be fully engaged in my family and society and school and everything else is, is, is way different. You had had some other surgeries, so I think the, the discharge, uh, the, the boost in care necessary after discharge was not a surprise to you, but for the families who've never had a big surgery, um, it, it, I think it comes as a big shock just how needy the patients are afterwards. Um, the, um, also, the overall magnitude of the surgery is often not sufficiently conveyed uh, to the family. Uh, they say, well, yes, I've, we've had some surgery, you know, we had an elbow release in the wrist, we had our wrist flexors uh, straightened out, and we had a, we had a back of pump uh, placed, and uh, that's okay, we've, we've been through surgery, we know what that's like after surgery. Well, they don't know what it's like after a spine fusion. It, it is short of some of the uh, thoracic uh, surgery, so the spinal fusion is a big enough insult uh, so that it's probably the biggest surgery that uh, the children will ever have, and the recovery is a, a, a big recovery. So it, it comes as a big surprise to some families.